Joseph Croom Hoggett, my great granddaddy, right? And so he had the general store in Kingston. His son, my granddaddy, Nathaniel Evan Hoggett Sr., was the one that was making the coffins. It's a wall of history. Yeah. That's my mom, and that's Nate's dad. A wall of remembrance of ancestors who wanted to take action. He thought that everyone should be treated equally. That's what shaped Brian and Nathaniel's family business, Hargett Funeral Service in Greensboro. Black citizens were not able to ride in a funeral hearse. Um, they rode in just a buckboard wagon, which was used for groceries or picking up wood um, and maintenance things. Their great-grandfather changed that. First one in North Carolina. He wanted to start a funeral home to have to serve families with dignity um, and also sympathy. Uh, so that was his main concern, dignity and sympathy. His mission took the family from Kinston to Durham, settling down in this building on East Market Street in Greensboro. There, the family continued to be a part of history. We all know about the Greensboro Four here in Greensboro. Well, my grandmother was very influential in, during those sit-in times, making sure that the students got out of jail. Hargett credits the community with their survival, helping those who need it the most. Sometimes we were paid with um, vegetables. I have a, a ledger of my grandfather um, and my grandmother kept um, where people paid them with um, items out of a garden and sometimes helping with work. With a rich history. We got to learn from our past. We got to learn from um, things that we've done to step ahead and to step out. He knows support and success. It's taken 150 years just to get here. Go hand in hand. It is just developed a, a intertwined relationship with the community, always being able to count on the Hargett name and Hargett family. In Greensboro, Haley Fixler, Fox 8 News. Wow.